The CWS Omaha firefighters raised enough money to equip firefighters and paramedics with bleeding and shock kits. After mass shootings in Sandy Hook and Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, a local firefighter went on a mission to make our community better prepared. Reporter Megan Stewart spoke with a doctor who developed the life-saving kits. We first told you about the bleeding and shock kits last month when an Omaha firefighter was raising money to stock emergency vehicles with the kits. Today, the firefighter tells us they smashed their goal, but the work isn't done yet. We had a, an explosion on New Year's Eve this last year where a gentleman had four limbs blown off. So we used four tourniquets on one patient. Dustin Talaco is an Omaha firefighter who wanted to equip emergency vehicles with bleeding and shock kits. He asked for $25,000 and the community quickly responded, exceeding the goal. We should have enough left over to make a, a, a special operations slash special events kit that will be uh, utilized like in the incident command unit. Basically, the, if you want to start bleeding as fast as you can, the person who can really help you is the person right beside the kits contain items like decompression needles, tourniquets, and other life-saving devices. Dr. Lenworth Jacobs helped develop the Stop the Bleeding initiative after the Sandy Hook school shooting. Dr. Jacobs says if someone can stop bleeding long enough to get a victim to the hospital, the victim has a much better chance at living. He wants everyone to know how to stop bleeding, including farmers, homeowners. Or even a kid who falls down on a stake, a motorcycle accident. Any bleeding is bleeding. And the sooner you can stop it is the better the survival of the patient. Kits for Omaha first responders have the ability to save multiple people with a dozen tourniquets and another dozen decompression needles. The last mass casualty quote unquote event that we've had in Omaha was the West Road shooting. So we learned a lot of things from that that we can apply moving forward. Both men say they plan to push for bleeding and shock kits to go in every building next to AEDs and fire extinguishers. Reporting in the studio, Megan Stewart, 3 News Now.